Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be solving practice problem 14.5. And this is also about body plot. Probably this will be the last on body plot because we have done so many uh, questions on body plot. So the practice problem says, uh, the, this is the transfer function given here. So as we have done in the previous video, the first thing we'll do is uh, convert all s into j omega. So s is basically equal to j omega in uh, network analysis. These are interchangeably used, especially s is used in the Laplace form or in Laplace domain. This is also called s domain. And j omega is called the phasor domain. Anyway, let's convert it. So we get uh, uh, this uh, form and now if you look at the standard form that we had discussed earlier, the standard form uh, is 1 plus j omega divided by something. Similarly for quadratic equation it is 1 plus j2 and then this square term. So we'll try to make this in this shape. So first of all, we rearrange, we bring 400 first and then this on the end. So we write it like this. And now we can take 400 common. So taking 400 common, now we get 1 plus uh, this term. So it's almost similar, we got 1, but here uh, we are not getting omega over omega n. So, uh, but here we have is j omega divided by omega n. So we can write this also into the same form. Uh, point two can be written as four divided by 20. So now we know for sure that 20 is our corner frequency omega n. So keep this point in mind. Now this zero zero cancel. So simplified form will be as shown here. Okay, and we have also learned that uh, from the phase here, we, uh, we can write it into magnitude and phase. And we'll plot the magnitude and we'll plot the phase. So let's see the magnitude first of all. So we have taken magnitude of all these terms. This vertical line is showing uh, magnitude. And since we will be plotting in the logarithmic scale in DA, DB form, so we'll take 20 log uh, with the numerator and denominator. So first of all, this will be 20 log one, and all the denominator will now come with a minus sign. Uh, uh, if you take these up, it will have like 40 minus one uh, or 40 power minus one, similar to this minus one. So when you going to take log, it will be negative. Anyway, so this will be negative 20 log 40. This will be negative 20 log j omega. And this third term is also negative 20 log this term. So this is the magnitude form. Now we'll uh, uh, write the phase angle as well. For that, uh, if you recall earlier videos, I have discussed this also, that if z is x plus j y form, that means the real and imaginary, then the angle will be tangent inverse y over x, that means imaginary over the real form. And if this term is in the denominator, then we'll have a minus sign here. So let's uh, write the phase angle first. For that, actually, we need to arrange this in, the, in terms of real and imaginary. This one, we just rearranging, we're taking this term to the end, the imaginary term, and this one comes first, so 1 minus omega square over 400. Now you may ask why, where from we got minus from here. So actually, when we are taking square of j, j square is minus 1, so it will become minus 1 here, and then omega square divided by 20 square, which is 400. Okay, now let's write the phasor. Phasor of 1 will be 0 angle. Uh, then phase of 40 will also be 0 angle. Phase of uh, j omega is in the denominator. 
So for j will be 90 and being in the denominator will have a minus sign, so minus 90. And for this we'll have minus sign and this formula. So y from here, you know, this is y term. So we take it up and divide it by the real term. Okay, so this is our phase. And now we'll uh, plot both magnitude and phase separately. So we take a logarithmic scale and we, we write uh, here from point one we start, then 10 times point one is one, 10 times 10, 10 times 100, and 10 times 1000. The vertical axis is linear, so 0, 20, 40, 0, minus 20, 40, etc. So the first plot is 20 log 1. If you use your calculator, its value will be 0. So we draw a 0 line. The next is minus 20 log 40. This will be minus 32. So we draw another line at minus 32. So this is 20, this is 40. Each division is of 4 or minus 4. So 3 division uh, down will be minus 32. And now we'll plot uh, uh, the g omega term. And from the book, there's a table. We'll follow that table. This table says that if it is 1 over g omega or negative g omega, then our slope will go down, or negative slope. And its value will be 20 dB per decade. We are assuming that n is 1. Here also is n 1. And one more thing that it will always pass through this point 1. Okay, so if we uh, follow this, then our line should pass through this point 1. And it will be 20 dB or minus 20 dB per decade down. So to pass from 1, it has to start from 20. And after one decade, it should come to 1. So our line will be something like this. And this we can extend all the way, as shown here. So this is the line which is representing minus 20 log g omega. Now the, the third line or the, for the quadratic also we have a, a, a formula. And this is the formula. Now for the quadratic, the slope is instead of 20, it is 40 dB down, so minus 40. And uh, it will start from omega k or omega n, whatever. In our case, it is 20. So it will start from 20. This is 10. So this will be 20. So it start from 20. And it will go 40 uh, dB down. And before this, it will be 0. So let's first of all mark uh, this point 20 and 200, one decade. Before this, it will be zero, and within one decade, that means 20 to 200, it should go down by 40 dB. So here it is, 40 dB down. Okay, so from 20 to 200, we have gone uh, two boxes down, this one and one, two, here, so this is, of 40 dB down, and we extend this line also all the way down. So we have drawn all uh, the three lines. Now we'll be adding, and there is a very simple technique for addition. So let me just show you. What we'll do is <clears throat> that instead of graphically adding, first of all, we'll do mathematical addition. And the addition will be wherever there is a change. Add only where a change is taking place. So first of all, we start from zero line. So what all we have, we have a positive 20, we have zero, and we have minus 32. So that was 20 minus 32. So the result is minus 12. So we note down that. Then you keep moving and this is the line point where it is changing. So this point where there is a change, just everything, the slope is going down, same, this line is same. So this point is identified, and here also we'll take the values. Now what we have here, we have uh, a zero line, this up to this point zero, and then come down. Now what is this point? 
So this, if you see, it is one and a half division. That means six. That means minus twenty six. This is minus twenty six. This part is minus thirty two. So that's right. Zero minus twenty six minus thirty two is fifty eight. Total fifty eight. What is the next change? The next change is taking place here. They are crossing each other. So we mark this point and we also note down the reading here. So the uh, this line has come down. So our this is starting point now. From the top, if we come down minus thirty two, and then we have two lines crossing here. And this is minus 50. If you see 40 and 60, it's in between. Minus 50 for this line and minus 50 for this line. So we'll write minus 32, minus 50, minus 50. And total is one, minus 132. So these are the three points that we have to connect now. OK. So uh, let's first of all identify minus 12 and minus 58 and minus 132 so we'll mark it here so we have marked these points already and then the first thing we are going to do is connect these two points that means minus 12 and minus 50 so starting from minus 12 and we come down to minus 58 at the point where there was a change so this point up to this point we now this point you see this is 58 minus 58 here and minus 12 so we connect this line straight line next will be what this was the change point and here it should go to minus 132 so from here uh, let's say this is the change line and uh, keep going down down minus 132 here so we'll we'll join the line as shown here from here to uh, minus 132 at the point of crossing. So this is our line. You can extend if you want uh, this line. There is no problem because all the way there, there is no more crossing, no more change. OK, so this is our answer. If you want to write the slope value, uh, you take any decade and you can calculate what is the slope. Like, for example, from here, starting from minus 2, minus 12, and we coming at this, this point for one decade, so it is 20, minus 12 to 32 is 20. So this, this line slope is minus 20 dB per decade. Similarly, what about this line from here to here? You can see it is three boxes, one, two, and three boxes. That means minus 60 dB per decade. So uh, our answer matches with the answer given in the book, which is, uh, if you look carefully, it is same up to this point, up to 20, 20, and then it is going down with a minus 60 dB per decade. So this was the magnitude plot. Now let's see the phase plot. Now we had calculated up to this point, so let's plot for zero. You don't have to really uh, plot any, but anyway, let's draw a thick line. Min is minus 90, so minus 90, we draw another line, this is minus 90. And then for this one, uh, we have to take help of the book again. And the end, this came from this equation. And for the quadratic equation, the phase plot is something like this. That is, it starts from zero and goes to minus 180. And on this axis, this is the corner frequency, which is 20 in our case. So you go one tenth of 20, that means two. So let's say if this point is 20, so we'll go down to two. And also we'll go down 10 times 20, that is 200. So we'll go up to this point. So let's just mark these points. So this is 220 and 200. And then we take a slope of 180 degree. So from here to 200, we go two division down, so that is 180 degree. And then we draw this straight line and this straight line. Okay. 
So uh, the phases are plot, and now we'll add as we did in case of a magnitude, mathematical addition, and then physical drawing. So from here you can see it is zero minus ninety minus ninety. This is change point for so zero minus ninety minus ninety, and this is change point. So this is a zero minus ninety and minus one eighty. So zero minus ninety minus one eighty is minus two seventy. So from 90 to 90 we we'll add 90 to 90 up to the change point here, just like shown here. So up to the change point 90 to 90, and then to the next change point uh, we'll have minus 270. So this minus 270 will be here. So we'll just connect this point. So connecting this uh, minus 270, and then we just draw the straight line. So we straighten it to minus 270. So this is our uh, final phase answer. And the book answer is also similar. Starting from minus 90, then we have this slope. And then we have the straight line at 270 degree. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your feedback. And don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you.